I've been an actor for about 40 years. I'm a student at Berkeley. I'm an IT director at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Skater, snowboarder, uh, Southern California kid. I'm a businessman and an ecologist. I'm just a banker. I am a nurse practitioner. I'm a minister. I'm a parent who had my kids, my one daughter, go through the process. I took my first class when I was nine. I took my first class when I was 11. Yeah, I was 11. I had never taken an acting class before in my life. I remember thinking that maybe acting was a little bit selfish at first. It's called an acting class, but I don't think that's really the right description. It's more like um, how you are in the world. So Kim is, it's not, you know, you could say, okay, so she's teaching theater. But she's not, she's teaching being live. There's always something new to discover because you're always a new person. He said if you really want some great healing and to achieve your dreams and yada yada, go find Kim Maxwell. I realized, oh, I have to take this class. And I've taken the class three times. We've taken like seven or eight of Kim's classes together. I've taken at least, at least 10. There isn't anything formulaic about what Kim is doing. If I had to describe Kim's class to anyone. When they themselves are asked to articulate it, there'll be a lot of. I'd be like, oh yeah, it's so much fun. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I just, it was just fun. Kim is as wide open as the student she is trying to open up. And so there's a kind of sense that they're all a bunch of naughty children trying shit, you know? She makes you, you know, crawl on your hands and knees and, and do all sorts of weird things. It has a tendency to fill them with wonder. It's terrifyingly awesome. You learn how to sing, dance, scream, cry, and be comfortable in your own skin. You learn the terrible woes of everyone else, and you realize that they're not that much different from your own. You're going into unknown territory. The child, the teenager, the grown-up. is They are being asked to do things that under normal circumstances they would not be asked to do. She provides an opportunity for people to create and be on stage and perform for the first time. And uh, that takes a lot of courage. I understand how much courage that takes, and she draws it out. The first time I got on stage for the first show I was in, it's, it's, it's very scary. All the nervousness comes before you walk on stage. You just become all the raw emotions that you are. That was hard. <laughs> So I'm in this place where I'm really resistant, I'm really scared, I'm really freaked out, and this is just how the last week goes. But man, the first time I experienced that, I was just, I was just floored. It was exhilarating to be out on that stage that first night, just standing in that place of who I am. As a parent, uh, the first time you see your daughter get up and read a, uh, a piece that she's written of her own. I had never shown anyone any of my poetry before. I wrote this poem and I was so scared to get up and perform it. I was like shaking on stage and my paper was, you could see in the video, my paper was just shaking and turning to confetti. And so I, I read it and, and everyone applauded and I knew that I was okay. I knew that I wasn't going to die because I had read something. I could see that Emily had stretched herself in multiple ways. She had not only gotten into the class to get up and perform, but she had written material that was from her heart. And not only had she been able to write it down in a cohesive way, but she was able to perform it. And that gave me a lot more freedom to push the boundaries and push that no matter what I get up and perform, no matter how scared I am, no matter how vulnerable I make myself, I'll still be alive. And it was wonderful and frightening and wonderful. <laughs> yeah. All at the same time. I was speechless. I really was speechless at the end. I was so powerfully affected by my own ability to speak my own truth. Some of the most celebratory moments, I would say, that I've experienced are watching people who are taking this kind of risk for the first time. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen how accessible this work is, how easy it is, and how um, rewarding it can be. She is one of the best teachers that I've ever, ever had. Still run into people who I, we talk about, we should do that sometime. 
we should take that class. I really truly believe that uh, everybody should take Kim's class. One of those great opportunities for large corporate structures to have workshops and seminars where people do that. She could draw that out of them. I think she would draw laughter out of them and tears and all kinds of stuff out of them that in the business environment you generally suppress. You could take it a million times and there would always be something new to find and some new way to express it. I've watched universally her, the students in her class um, grow from being very shy and very closed and personally contained mm. to being just expansive and effusive and just joyful uh, performers and, uh, and personalities. And it's a lovely thing. To, it's just a beautiful thing to watch.